When you got here, what was the stamp that you wanted to put on this program right off the jump? Well, I wanted to make, you know, volleyball in Baytown, like, known. Like, um, you know, Sterling did a really good job. Lee did a really good job. But GCM wasn't, you know. So new. I mean, so new. I mean, they're still building traditions. We're still learning. So I just, I wanted to bring that energy back, or not back, but just bring more energy to GCM. And um, we came in with a really tough mindset. It was like, we're going to do this. And we were undefeated district champions my first year here. And then the next two years, we went to 6A, which was right. tough. tough. But, I mean, we still made the playoffs. So, and then last year, dropping back to 5A, still made the playoffs, um, but had a scrap. My name is Caitlin Herrera. I'm a libero. My name is Mia Bookman, and I'm a middle. My name is Taylor Cotlart, and I'm an outside. My name is Zoe Martinez, and I'm a setter. Okay, so y'all are really good this year. Y'all had a really good like pre. What would you call that? Tournament, like tournament season. What's been the difference this year? Why are y'all so good? Um, it seems like we're all playing more like with heart. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're very, you know, scrappy. So I think we just have been, you know, uh, resilient in our mindset of every game, every play, every set. Doesn't matter who's across the net, we're just gonna keep playing our game. Power up front. Right in the How important is team chemistry? How do you build team chemistry in a really successful program? You know, I personally feel like off season is where we have to build it. In our off season this previous year, I did something different. I worked with the football coaches, mm. and we were actually in the weight room with the football team. We did their boot camp. They they allowed us. It was really awesome. And uh, you know, they were like, you know, coach, if if they're late, they're going to have the same punishment as the boys. And I was like. Let's go. Let's do it. So the girls did boot camp with the boys. Um, you know, they, they hold each other accountable very well. I think be, having that mindset of, you know, no, nothing out of place. Right. And so I think that's where we started was off season last year. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where our competitiveness came from, of trying to beat each other with the weights, yeah. trying to beat each other with the 40. And um, so I think that's where it began. Y'all are just starting district. Where do you see this this team going? You know, is it a deep playoff run? What's your kind of, like, your goals in order? Um, well, the goal for the team, um, I know all of us really want to go past the first round of playoffs, because I know we can we, we can make it, especially, bat, especially past the first round. Right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need y'all to go further than that. We want multiple. Yeah. As want the multiple. number two, number one team in the city, y'all got to go further than that in Class mm -hmm. Five A. All right. But I think we're just gonna keep focus on grinding every day and uh, just doing the best, no matter what team is across the net. If it's Friendswood, uh, Galeno Park, Lee, Crosby, whoever. Uh, you know, we're just gonna have that mind frame of we have. You know, if we want to make playoffs, we have to beat everybody and. No matter if we lose, you know, we have to roll into the next game, not get down, not have be on the bottom, you know, trend. Right. We have to stay level headed. So, so y'all have a target on your backs now because you are our number one team in class five A this week. <laughs> great job, man. Y'all been having a great preseason. 
Let's see how that translates into district. Congrats so far. We will see how GCM, the Patriots, do as it relates to postseason and beyond. All right, Coach, Casey Veen, one of the best in the business. This is Matt with Vite.